my beauties and brainies and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be going through my uh, closet to see what I should get rid of for my um, garage sale that's coming up. Me, um, a friend of mine, their family, their extended family are all doing like this huge garage sale together. I'm going to do a big sale, but I'm also going through my clothes to see what to get rid of. This is like the fourth part now um so in this sec this um part i'm gonna go through my closet i don't know how many items i'm gonna get rid of i think i wear most of these on a very consistent basis so i don't know how many items i'm gonna get rid of but we will go through and see and i think we're gonna do a snack breakdown because i've been doing this for a couple hours now i got this at walmart on the clearance i got this for like a dollar 78 and i was like you know what getting international food for a dollar 78 is a really good deal so this is bin bin rice crackers and just looking on the back it looks like this is um a chinese snack it's just made of like rice palm oil sugar tapioca starch soy sauce powder i don't really know what that is but i thought i would give these a try oh my goodness. yeah it just smells like crackers um comes in individually wrapped two in a pouch oh my goodness gracious So this is what it looks like. It seems very flaky and like kind of like puffed. Whew. It's very like styrofoamy. Hmm. Hmm. I thought just looking at the texture. It would be, it kind of looks like a Cheeto puff, but it's very crunchy and I can't really identify the flavor, but I do like it. It's just not a flavor that I'm used to, but I do like it. I like the crunch. Like I am a crunchy person. Like I don't like thin chips. I like the big ones. I am. I like this. I don't know if you like because it's flat i don't know if you traditionally <clears throat> like dip it in something or you do like cheese and meat with it or i'm not sure what you traditionally do with it but it is nice that's what this plain as well Mm -hmm. Alrighty, snack time over. Let's go through the clothes. <clears throat> Sorry. So this is I got this for Christmas a couple years ago. It's like that, like honestly, like a blanket throw material. It's in like an off white, and then it has um you can zip it all the way up your throat. It does have pockets like pretty big pockets i wear this on a semi-frequent basis so gonna keep this i got this at tj maxx a couple years ago i really love this little cutout i think it makes it look really nice so i think i'm gonna keep this as well it's like long sleeves but it's not it's not thin but it's not thick so you can definitely get some wear throughout the seasons i mean not necessarily right now i think it's a little bit too warm for right now but definitely a nice one as well oh my gosh this one's coming off 
this one oh i really like this one this one is like a red sweater dress but i really like this like knot right here because it really like cinches you in right there and complements your figure so this one i'm gonna keep as well i think that was another tj maxx one this one i picked up from my mom's closet to be 100 percent honest um but i do really like this one it's just like a gray professional one but i, I mean it looks good and i like how where the seam is because it just really like cinches you in and complements your figure i have a black carnigan with like this um flappy <laughs> flap right here just for like some added layers and texture and then it has like these little um buckles little i mean it kind of just looks like button buckles to be honest buckle buttons um so that's nice i'm gonna keep this because you always need more cardigans in your life i have a great cardigan I want to keep that. I have um, two skirts. I have this one, which I got from my mom. It's like this like maroon purple with black like chevron stripes. And then I have this like Hawaiian skirt that I got a couple weeks ago from Goodwill and Warren Vacation. And then I just have this, I think I might honestly get rid of this one because I literally never wear it this um navy blue skirt it's um very soft very stretchy i just don't really know what to pair it with to get the most use out of it and i have a lot of skirts already so i kind of feel like i'm just gonna get rid of this one hmm. yeah i'm just gonna get rid of this one i never wear it because i never know what to pair it with so And I've had it for literally forever and I've never worn it. So I've had it for like years and I've never worn it. So getting rid of that. I have this, um, this one. I think I got this at TJ Maxx as well. It has like these like, is it like Renaissance sleeves? Like big poofy sleeves. Um, and then the top is like this stretchy one where you can do some off the shoulder action or you can have it up here if you want a little bit more coverage. Love it. Keep it. Amazing. I got this at Sheen before it became controversial. I really like it. It looks really on me, oh, really good on me. I think this is like the clothing item that's like the most suited for my body um, type. It's kind of like these, it kind of looks like painted on flowers, but then it has like these ruching pat uh, panels to like fit your body as much as possible. And then it has these like um, little tassels, which little, you know, sway a little bit as you walk. So love it. I got tons of compliments when I wore it. I was kind of surprised, honestly. Um, I then have this one where it's kind of like, how do I even describe it? It's got like a little like baseball, <laughs> baseball base type of cutout, um, some cinching and then some sleeves with some cinching as well. I really like it cause it just matches with pretty much anything without being like plain or boring. And I think the cutout looks nice where it's not, you can kind of like push it up if you're in some settings or push it down in other settings. So you get a lot of use out of it. And then I have um, this purple version of it as well, but it has little buttons on it. I got these at TJ Maxx a while ago, but these ones have little, little like pearly buttons. So love that. And then I got this sweater this baby yoda sweater um in like a pajama set oh my gosh there we go and it says um but first snacks it's super super cute very soft and comfy love it wear it all the time 
I have this shirt. It is super, super cute. I love the um, embroidered flowers. It is machine embroidered, but my um, embroidered flowers and the poofed out sleeves. I just, if I remember correctly, this does not fit me the best. So I honestly like borrowed slash stole it from my sister. So I think I'll just give it back to her. Whoop. I then have this green long sleeve shirt. It's just like a basic green. I've never worn it and I don't know if I have anything that I would honestly wear it with. But it is like a nice stretchy fabric. Oh, I don't know. I just don't have anything to wear it with. Like I don't have anything green. Mm -hmm. I think I just got this this year. Um, someone gave it to me just this year. So I think I'm going to go another winter with it and see if I get any use out of it. Or if I get any items that kind of match it. Especially because I do get use out of this green shirt. So I must have something that green pairs with. But it has like these little ruchy details which I love. Um, this I got at Old Navy, I think. Um, the thing is, is that it's very, it's kind of thin material and it's, it's not very high quality. It is getting like really stretched out, to be honest. So I think this only really has one more year left in it and then it's gonna have to be pitched. So I think I'll keep that one. So then when this one hits the bin, um, honestly, I'll probably recycle it into something else. I have something else green to wear, so I'm gonna save that. Oh, goodness. <clears throat> oh, goodness. Okay. I have this just like plain black uh, skirt with like this thick waistband. I never wear this. I'm trying to think if I even have anything that I would wear with. I don't think so. I just never. I've had this once again for years. And I can't remember the last time I've worn it. Hmm. It's just like the things I would wear with it are all like poofy. And so to wear another poofy thing just doesn't really help create a flattering silhouette. Hmm. I'll just think on that one. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like I've never get any use out of it though. And if I change my mind, like you can always find a black skirt at Goodwill. Hmm. Hmm. I'm thinking about it. And then I also have this red skirt. Once again, I got it from Sheen before it was controversial. I do get a lot of wear out of it, so I am going to keep it. This black skirt though. I was thinking it might look cute with this. I'll try it with this and if I don't like it with this, I'll get rid of it. That's what I'll do. That is what I will do, okay. And then I just got this a couple weeks ago. It's this red, uh, red. It's this black, really floofy, um, top the neck kind of like cinches on the neck and it has like white little hearts on it and the sleeves are super poofy and fun love it love it love it it's like one of my favorites to be honest with you and then I just have this black simple dress honestly every one woman needs one I have oh I do think I'm gonna get rid of this honestly this is a black cardigan with short sleeves. I 
have not really worn it with anything. All the things that I have that are sleeveless and that would kind of need a cardigan, I've, I've just never really worn this at all. I don't really necessarily like it. I was keeping it because it's nice for when you're wearing like formal wear because a lot of those are like a strap. But I feel like that was built on an insecurity to show my arm flap and I feel like we've grown. Uh, thing is, is that I have shirts that are like this, which are formal, but don't have any top. However, I don't, I don't necessarily ever pair these two together. Like I pair it together when I'm excusing that I should have this. But how many times have I actually worn it together? Not at all. So I think I am gonna get rid of this short sleeve cardigan with like these like little buttons that don't really button anything. I think I'm just gonna get rid of it because I never ever wear it. Alrighty, and then I'll just keep this. I think I'll pair it with like a colored cardigan. Get rid of that, or keep that I mean. I have my Scooby Doo sweatshirt. Super cute, wear it all the time. Like a blue tie dye under uh, behind it. Love it. I have this brown, um, like a brown top with some lace and then just black. It's super, super soft. Got it at Kohl's like in high school. Um, super soft, love the length, love how it's like simple but stunning, love it. I got this black dress. I love this like um, angle because it really like helps um, kind of like cinch your waist just by the illusion and once again very comfortable material um nice stretch to it so i'm gonna keep this this is a winter dress it is a sweater dress but it's like very thick uh material but i love this pattern um on the waist once again illusion of cinching but it also just i think is simple but kind of just elegant and stunning and that is the end of the closet um declutter we got rid of two things which honestly is two things that i had in my closet before so i'm fine with that these are clothes i wear all the time so i wasn't really expecting to get rid of too much so i'm fine with <laughs> i'm fine with like getting rid of two or three items but I do have one more of these parts to go through. I have um, the laundry that's in the washing machine right now. And then I have the clothes that are like packed away because they weren't the right season. I, I need to go through it because I think there are definitely some things in there that I'm gonna get rid of. So I have a few more parts, but we're finally nearing the end of this. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day. Bye.